Hey guys, Doc here. I'm going to do another quick video for you guys. Uh, just on a think or swim tip here. Some tips on how to execute your orders faster. The first thing I want to show you guys is think or swim actually defaults to a setting that can make your fills slower. So let me show you how to access that, to change that. So you go to setup up here. You go to application settings. And then you go to orders, I'm sorry, system, go to system, and then thinkorswim actually defaults, I think, to this moderate max delay three seconds. You definitely want to change that. So change that to real time, no delay. So make sure that's changed. Hit apply settings. Go back to your setup. And then the other place you want to change it is under active trader. You want for your uh, active trader order submission rate limit to be zero. I forget what it defaults to there, but just make sure that that's a zero. Uh, and then one other thing that you can do is if you guys trade on active trader on the ladder here, let me show you guys real quick. We'll go to on demand here. So I don't know if you guys trade with the ladder. Uh, I do. I, I would find it very difficult to trade without it since I started trading. I just love it. So you can actually click on an order. Just click in here like to buy, you know, however many shares, 500 shares, let's say. You can click in here, right? You click right there, and it's going to bring up this box where, you know, your confirmation box and you have to send. Well, that's obviously not very fast. So you can click the auto send here. I'm going to show you guys another option that I think is better than the auto send in a moment. But the auto send, and then you just come down and obviously you'll get no confirmation. It's just there, right? Your buying order. What I like, because this auto send can be dangerous, you know, if you're messing around and you ask, because you can auto send, you can actually click on ask for the bid and accidentally enter a, a long or short position with that auto send checked. And I have had a couple of accidents with that check. So what I like to do is I like to use shift click. Let me show you where you find that in the, in the setup. So you go to application settings again, go to orders, and then right here, this auto send with shift click. Okay, just make sure that that box is checked. Go to active trader and make sure that the auto send active trader order on down click is checked. Apply settings. And then now you won't have an accident, right? You're not going to accidentally click because you can sure have an accident on, a, on just a click, but how many times are you going to accidentally shift click? So then your order is just as quick here. You can come down here, place an order down here, let's say, and just a shift click and boom, there it is. It's done. Just like uh, if auto send were or select it. So that way you don't have any accidents. You'll see that when I do that, there's no, no confirmation box that comes up. There's my order right there. So just wanted to point that out to you guys. I know that uh, a lot of people are not aware of those settings. So I'm going to go through them one more time just to show you all real quick. So you go to your application settings and you go to system, okay, under the general tab. Make sure that you're on real time, no delay. And then go to Active Trader. Make sure that your submission rate limit is on zero MS. And then if you want to do the shift click, you just auto send AT, order on down click. And then on your orders, make sure that auto send with shift click is selected. I think you guys will, will like that if, if you weren't want to wear that. So I wanted to share that with you guys. I hope it was helpful uh, to everyone. And if it was, uh, please do me a favor and like and subscribe to the channel. I would appreciate it very much. And as always, happy trading, and we'll see you on the next vid.